Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We were down for so long, didn't have no choice but to go up. Okay, so today we're gonna make some some tongue food. You know what I'm saying? Got the leaves. It's going loose. Alright, let's make so a thumbnail. Had a little plan. Rub salt all around the outside and then rinse it off when you're done. Butcher. Ashton Kutcher. Alright, so beautiful. Nice and medium rare. We're gonna go ahead and um, slice this up and we're gonna, after we slice it up into chunks, we're gonna go ahead and put it in our loo with some onions, maybe some red pepper, some salt, some mayonnaise, coconut milk. Mm, I'm so excited and I can't wait. And I wish you guys could try it. I mean, you guys should try it at home. Alright y'all, so as y'all can see, we're getting real here, we're laying out the leaves to the individual loo that we're going to use, and I'm definitely going to add some crushed red pepper to my loo, because I like spicy spicy, and I'm going to add some paprika, and we're going to add some salt, garlic salt, coconut milk, mayonnaise, yum. Mmm, I can't wait to eat it. It's that throat baby. You gotta cook the loo, throw baby, all the way through. So I'm gonna pour some coconut milk. I'm gonna get some of my mayonnaise. but I know that my man loves mayonnaise, so. All right, you guys, so he's making our first glue. Uh, right now, he is making the lupu, and this is the beef, the corned beef brisket. We're just gonna slightly season it and add some coconut milk with mayonnaise, some onion. Right, we're gonna season it. Put some 
some garlic salt and he's gonna season it how he likes because we can season it. You can put salt and pepper only. You can put garlic, salt, um, like slight salt. You know, you don't want it to be over salty. Some paprika, some crushed peppers. Mmm. Yummy, guys. This is gonna be so good. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Some crushed peppers, yummy. We were gonna put some green onions, but I was like, oh no, maybe next time, maybe next time. Um, just for now, we'll just stick to the script. He's gonna add some onions, yum. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. You guys, this is gonna be so good. So right now what he's doing is wrapping the loo. Um, they do this in his culture, so he's gonna go ahead and add some coconut milk and some mayonnaise to that. So you wanna make sure once you're doing this part that it doesn't leak. Uh, you know, that's why there's so many layers underneath because sometimes the leaves have holes and you wanna make sure that once you're putting this juice in this liquid that it doesn't leak on through. Mmm, y'all, I can't wait to eat this, you guys. Don't understand how bomb this is gonna be. This just happens to be his culture. So we're actually gonna wrap this in foil. And I don't know if his Lou wrap game is strong or not. I don't know. If, if, if you're Tongan or you're Polynesian, comment down below and let me know if his Lou wrap game is strong or not, y'all. Comment no, down no below. Leaks. Comment no. down below no if you leaks. think that his his Lou wrap game is strong, y'all. If you're Polynesian game, or if you Tongan, all the above me. Let, let us know some, let us know some. And we are gonna make sure that this is cooked all the way through. Promise, because we ain't doing that itchy throw. Mm -mm. <laughs> we have our seepy, our seepy is done now. One loose seepy it, it's looking like, so. Cause we did only get one pack of the lamb. Because we, we figured that with how many loo leaves we have in the brisket, it, it's not going to come out to be a lot of loo. So that's okay. So that's right. the only loo seepy one. That's for the king fahi over here. He's really going to spice this one up, you guys. He loves the, the loo seepy, so I know I'm he's gonna really going to spice this one up. Look at that onion that he's putting on there. Let me go ahead and zoom in for you guys. I'm actually gonna make one too on my own, but I really wanted, this is Fehi's dish, you know? I love that that his culture has this dish. I love this dish. Um, it's probably my favorite, one of my favorites. Um, yeah, so, and I love the way that he wraps it too, honestly. So I really wanted him to do the wrapping for this part but it is very fun to do and I hope that you guys try it at home mm, you guys that's the Lucy P mm, so he's making some Lucy P and let's see that rap game come on if you Polynesian Tongan community let me know in the comments if if his rap game is is strong let me let us know some let us know some Mashita. Get that heavy duty, that heavy duty. Get that heavy duty. Damn, I can't even say it. Get that heavy duty, heavy duty foil, y'all. Because that heavy duty is some right. Y'all don't want none of that thin foil and it's gonna be se rinky, seeking rinky. out. And no, uh, y'all want it to look like the loud pack that it is right there. All right, and. <laughs> Mmm, you guys, so yummy. We're gonna put some water at the bottom of those pots and it's gonna be so yummy. Why do you wrap the leaves like that? So, it won't leak, so you gotta have layers. So you gotta find like a, a center, I guess. And just, you know, put some leaves right there. A little nest. And then, voila, get the meat. 
yummy you guys i can't wait for you guys to see the finished product and i hope that you guys try this for yourself um you can't really buy this anywhere in las vegas um you kind of have to just know some polynesians or tongan people who will make this dish so yummy you guys mm, that is the lupu